I would like to thank Attila the Q for sending me this story. And I'm not sure if it was him that actually mentioned it to me or not, but it was somebody in the comment section had in one of my recent videos asking me, did I hear about Tiffany Haddish? And I was like, no. And ironically, I get this email with this article attached. <clears throat> This right here, which I'm about to read to you, is going to prove what Cat Williams said about her a few months ago. Correct. If y'all remember, I did a video back in October, I believe, where he went on a radio show and he pretty much put Tiffany Haddish and Kevin Hart and a few other comedians on blast, basically saying that they weren't funny and all types of stuff. And it went it, it got a lot of traction for that time period. I remember he then later eventually did apologize to Tiffany at the Emmys in which they both did win an Emmy. <clears throat> but this right here is going to prove that Tiffany Haddish can only be, if you can take her as that, movie funny and not so much stand-up funny. Because yesterday, well, on New Year's Eve, Tiffany did a comedy show. And according to what I have skimmed through so far, and which I am going to read, she bombed. Basically, she the, the, the crowd did not mesh well with her. If they could have threw a tomato at her like they did back in the day, they probably would have. So I'm going to go ahead and read this article coming from Variety. It says, like many people on New Year's Eve, Tiffany Haddish had a night she'd probably like to forget. While performing to a sold-out audience at the James L. Knight Center in Miami, Haddish reportedly bombed so hard on Monday night, several fans got up and walked out of the show. This is going to be on TMZ or whatever the girl's trip actress comedian told the unhappy patrons. Haddish, who confirmed the report on Tuesday saying, yes, this happened. I wish it was better, Miami, apparently forgot several of her jokes and the ones she did recall, like her mother being in a mental inst institution or her friends asking for money, reportedly fell flat. Haddish had previously admitted to partying the night before until 7 in the morning. Not going to lie, I've been partying all night, I've been partying all morning, I can still feel the Ciroc in my system. Well, Tiffany, that's on you. No one told you to go out and party and get flat drunk when you knew you had a comedy show the next day. You should have waited until after the show was done and you knew you had nothing to do the next day to do that. I mean, why would you party the night before New Year's Eve instead of partying after your show on New Year's Eve transitioning into New Year's Day? That makes no sense. So her trying to literally blame it on the alcohol is a weak excuse in my in my eyes. As the hecklers and booze grew louder at the New Year's show, Haddish before grabbed a bottle of vodka and drank on stage as she invited audience members to tell jokes. It was that bad that she actually got the crowd involved to the point where she really didn't have a show anymore. Fuck it, she said. I really wanted to talk about some stuff, and I can't remember none of it. I don't... <laughs> and that's pretty much all they say. Listen. If this is the best she's going to have to offer, this, this let's put it this way. This is going to be a, a pretty decent setback on her career. I don't know if anyone has told Tiffany this or not, but when it comes to you being a black comedian, especially a black female comedian, they're not going to give you that many chances that they would give a Amy Schumer or a Sarah Silverman or any of those other white female comedians who aren't even hardly funny. You would only get one chance and that's it. And this right here, apparently this story has made its rounds. So if I were her, I would stop doing stand up and, you know, just focus on filmmaking. We don't have to go see the films, but to save her career, she would have to just stop doing um, stand up. And, you know, like I said, this goes back onto what Cat Williams was saying about her and saying that she's really not funny. And I've heard a lot of people say that she's not funny to them either. She's she's ratchet funny. She's I don't know who. The audience was as far as the demographic goes. It said she was in Miami, so that could have been a mixed bag of people. That could have been black people, white people. It could have, you know, down in Miami, it's a lot of Cubans. It could have been a lot of them down there. So who knows exactly who she was actually catering to as far as an audience goes. But Tiffany, whatever you do, and I can't believe I'm giving you sound advice, 
but advice nonetheless do not step on a comedy stage ever again unless you are in front of a camera and is a part of a movie and there's a script involved that's it that's really all i have to say let's just put it this way you won't have to worry about netflix beating down her door to give her a comedy special now y'all now tiffany what she should have did was took a lesson from monique and what happened with her but if my memory serves me correctly didn't Tiffany have some choice words for Monique as well? I'm not exactly sure. Like, my mind is kind of blurry when it comes to that. But I think she did, and not in a uplifting type of way. See, she was feeling herself. She was like, oh, I was in Girls Trip. I presented at the Oscars. I'm being invited to all these events, mostly hosted by white people. I was in night school with Kevin Hart. I was in this other movie with, you know, Tyler Perry made movie. And, you know, she felt like she was feeling herself. And on this night right here, she got her wake up call. And that it was in that moment that she realized she probably wasn't as funny as she thought she was. Comedians really show their strength of being funny when they're on that stage. That's where all comedians get their start. And that's when it should propel them to the next level unless they want to stay in that particular circuit. But Tiffany, I don't think stand up is your lane. In some circles, they don't a lot of people feel that entertainment is it your is your lane either a lot of people really would prefer not to see you anymore they feel a lot of people feel your time is up so like i said she better uh not strike out twice with this whole stand-up thing just go back to doing films and leave it leave the stand-up at those who can actually do it but like i said she really bought it on herself by getting intoxicated and then staying up late before having to do her set the next day and being tired and then getting intoxicated again. So really, it's all solely on her. She has really no one to blame but herself. Y'all let me know what you think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. The links will be in the description. I will talk to you in the next one. On oh, one more thing to add to this video, I had to insert something about Kevin Hart. Harvey had did a video last year after the whole Kevin Hart thing started to happen with those tweets resurfacing. I mean, uh... Um, coming back to the surface, I should say, where he was talking about Tiffany Haddish. And basically he was saying, did Tiffany ever come out to the defense of Kevin Hart when all of that stuff was going on and he was being attacked by a certain community? And the question was, no, she got real quiet. So now she's getting backlash, you know, for her so-called stand-up performance. Kevin Hart, if I were you, I would not come to this woman's defense a second time. You know, because, you know, he came to bat for her with the whole Cat Williams situation back in October or September, one around those times, and she didn't come to his defense when it was time for the you know when he got hit with the uh, whole uh, gay tweets that he did from now ten years ago. So, Kevin, if you were smart, just sit this one out. She's got to do this by herself.